on the last Duel Destinies. It's Athena. In case you missed anything, I'm gonna fill you in on this case. We might have found our killer. No one's never Oh my god, this book is shit! You know what else is shit? Our situation. The yokai feathers and tracks. They weren't there when I first opened the door! Oh crap! Speaking of crap... Perfume! Not this shit again! The worst of times are when lawyers have to force their biggest smiles. There's no time to smile when we need answers fast! The investigation continues on Ace Attorney Dual Destinies next! Rumor has it, she's possessed by Ten Mataro. That one's new to me. <laughs> well, there you have it! Anytime you hear about a Ten Mataro sighting, Little Jinxie should be your prime suspect. Tell us more about that rumor! Oh, Flower, how much I enjoy stroking you. So, what was that rumor about Jinxie? They say she's possessed. Not all the time, of course. It hits suddenly, and then she starts wandering around doing strange things! <laughs> Is that so? Although, come to think of it... That looks no good, my tails fox. He shall know the mind to spare. That certainly would explain how she was acting earlier. I'm crying. It's so dramatic. Once, she even put on a Tenmataro costume and wandered around the woods at night. She did? Beware. Who dared see your way? Uh, I wish I'd never asked. Does she remember anything while she's possessed? Unfortunately, no. She doesn't seem to remember a thing during these episodes. Memory loss during possession. Hmm. Come to think of it, the memory of the murder scene is quite fuzzy. I suppose that, too, was caused by her possession. Uh, then maybe. <laughs> so you do understand. The whole yokai business was entirely of her own making. Now wait a minute. Although, that yokai evidence wasn't there until after she discovered the crime scene. Did she leave those black feathers and strange tracks there herself? Apollo, let's ask Mayor Tenma about Jinxie's episodes the next time we talk with him. <laughs> flower stroking, flower stroking, I do love flower stroking. Are you going to ask me a question, or am I going to have to just continuously stroke my flower? What is that?! It's the blackmail letter, but it wasn't sent to Alderman QB. It was sent to Mayor Tenma. And?! Your point being?! Someone took the letter from the mayor's briefcase and then placed it in the alderman's pocket after he was murdered. Oh, you don't say. You wouldn't happen to be the one who made the switch, would you? After all, you're the only one who knew that the blackmail letter was in his briefcase. So naturally, you- Pop you! Yeah! Perhaps that shot of cologne will make those scales fall from your eyes. Or my eyes fall from their sockets. Uh, all the pain. 
Is it possible that you would like to frame me as a potential suspect? What would make you raise such an outrageous allegation in the first place? Oh, uh, well... <laughs> My only crime is being born as beautiful as you see here. In other words, you have nothing! Now, let me show you what to do with this garbage! Blah! You can't destroy evidence like that! What do you mean I can't? I just did, you little bitch! <laughs> Feel a little lighter now? You've just won a one-way trip to the top of my murder list, buddy. Are we done with your silly questions now? I'm a very busy man, you know. <sighs> I guess that's it for now. Hello, LaBelle speaking. Really? You wish to carry my new product at your store? Oh, but I'm afraid it's my own private brand. It's not available to the public. What? Then I shouldn't advertise it on TV? But I don't understand! As the embodiment of beauty, it's my duty to announce my good looks to the world! Stop the bus, I'm getting off. <laughs> Everyone wants my exclusive Je Suis La Belle brand products. It's the crown jewel of my collection, born of my long, relentless pursuit of beauty. But now that it's become so popular, it's been an absolute nightmare. You don't say. Well, they can't have it! It's just for me! Mine! Mine, I say! It's not meant for you peasants. Peasants? Yes, peasants. This is my latest product. I'm calling it Clumy La Belle. A dazzling hair color that you can wash out with just water. Guess that means you can't sweat. I have seven colors in all. You can find out more in my commercials and magazine ads. Yet it's not available to the public? Great sales strategy there, genius. Come to think of it, Mr. LaBelle. Your hair colors changed since the last time we met. So, you finally noticed, Sherlock. Here's a little sample. Consider it a gift to one who truly appreciates beauty. Oh, um, uh, Apollo, what should I do? Better take it before you get a face full of cologne. I think blue would suit you, Athena. Good point. Wow, thanks, Mr. LaBelle. Okay, let's head over to the Fox Chamber. We've still got to find the secret mechanism for opening the Forbidden Chamber. Okay, let's find that secret mechanism for opening the Forbidden Chamber. Oh, this is so exciting! I can't wait to see how it works. But do you really think the killer entered the Forbidden Chamber? We'll just have to open it to find out. We should also see if there was anywhere the killer could have hidden in this room. Okay, let's get started. Apurate, Apollo! Apurate! Well, that fox statue's a good place to start, I guess. Ooh, no! Start with the right! Why? Why not? Okay, right it is. There's a carving of the nine-tailed fox over the door and statues of him on either side. 
The way those two statues are glaring, it's like they're guarding the door from us. Come to think of it, there are two foxes on the folding screen as well. It can't be a coincidence, can it? Hey! The statue moves! Don't get carried away now. I mean, who knows? It might trigger a trap. <laughs> I can handle it. If a spear comes shooting my way, I'll snatch it out of the air. After all, I have the reflexes of a regular karate kid. I guess if you can catch something that fast out of midair, you can accomplish anything. Follow your dreams, Athena. Still... There might be something to the fact that these fox statues rotate. Maybe there's something around here that shows the position they should be in. Let's check out the screen, Apollo. Got it. The side with the picture on it. Oh, uh, right, yeah. <laughs> Two foxes standing back to back are depicted on this elegant folding screen. Could this have something to do with the keyhole? Hmm, wait a minute. Two foxes. There are two fox statues in front of the Forbidden Chamber as well! Maybe the keyhole will appear if we do something to this folding screen. Hmm... But I don't see anything unusual about it. Well, it does have two foxes on it, and there are two fox statues in front of the door. Then maybe there's a clue somewhere in this room. Let's turn the whole place upside down! She's as excited as a kid in a candy store. Or maybe a bull in a china shop. Still no keyhole, huh? Yeah, and the door won't budge. Just like those spiky bangs of yours! Well, it takes us some water, but I don't think that would work on the door. Oh, I know! I'll break it down with a body slam! <laughs> I seriously doubt you could do that. How do you know if I haven't even tried? No, wait, don't! As much as you hate losing, Athena, I think the door would win this match. You wanna go, door? You wanna go? Hmm. You're so strong. Nothing on this side of the room. Well, you never met Athena Sykes, and I'm gonna Nothing new about the blood stains. <laughs> door is still not opening. Pretty sure I already checked out those weird dull things last time I was here. The door just open. Maybe there's something to do with the chandelier. Uh, nah. Why are you closed? Please open your doors. What about those please? weapons? This one's a sphere, but what about this one? It looks like a giant pair of pliers. Looks like something a demon might. Wait, are you getting deja vu or is that just No, me? I'm getting it too. Huh? Weird. So now you're done losing the fight with the door, care to help me actually look around? Oh right, the investigation thing. Gotcha. Hey, there's something near that fox statue. Oh really? Wait, never mind. False alarm. God damn it, Athena. This statue originally depicted the two yokai holding up a cup in a gesture of goodwill. Maybe Alderman QB was planning on smoothing things over with Mayor Tenma. But he was murdered instead. By somebody who intervened. The mayor was only pursuing the municipal merger because he'd been blackmailed. Who knows? If this murder hadn't occurred, maybe they could have come up with a solution.
We've checked pretty much everywhere. If I were evidence, where would I hide? Is that a question you ask yourself often? More than you'd think, less than you'd hope. Try behind the door. Better take a look behind this door, too. Oh, look, the doorknob banged into the wall. Made a big dent, too. That wouldn't have happened if the killer had been hiding there. Right. I guess that rules out the old hide-behind-the-door trick. We should check the table. Unless you think some evidence magically appeared behind the door just now. Maybe the killer hid under this table. That would be a terrible hiding place. The alderman's body would have been right above. Maybe you're right. Guess the underside is a bit. Wait, there's something under the table. Let's check it out. Hey, look, there's something down here. It looks like a piece of something. Only question is, a piece of what? Hmm. Oh, I know. It might be a piece of this statue. Remember what Jinxie said? The statue originally depicted two yokai holding up a cup. It was a symbol of goodwill. So this piece broke off and rolled under the table? Well, I can't think of anywhere else to look. You find anything, Apollo? We'll never find the keyhole to the Forbidden Chamber at this rate. There's something about that folding screen. You know how those fox statues in front of the Forbidden Chamber move? That screen might be a clue as to how we're supposed to position them or something. Hey, I bet you're right! Let's go over that screen with a fine-tooth comb! On closer inspection... I think there's more to the screen than meets the eye. Folding screen, more than meets the eye. Let's check every last inch of it. Thanks for that, Optimus Crime. You are welcome. Uh, tutorials, you know. It's fine. What's this? Looks like a keyhole or something. You think it could be the keyhole to the Forbidden Chamber? No, it's just a picture. Still, you know what they say. A picture's worth a thousand words. It's a picture of a key. Hmm, its shape looks awfully familiar. Oh, I know! It's shaped like the Forbidden Chamber's key. Hmm. Wait, what about that keyhole drawn on the center of the screen? You think the two are related? A key and a keyhole. Oh, I just got an idea! If we folded the screen up just right, the key and the keyhole should overlap. Hey, I think you're right. Let's give it a try. Look, a door. Yeah, and it's open too. The two foxes are now facing each other, so... Hey, what if we made those fox statues face each other?
Apollo, let's go check out the two statues. Okay, help me move the two statues so they face each other, just like on the screen. Look! A lock appeared. Now we can use that key. Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> it worked! Time to see why this chamber is so forbidden. What secrets could it hold, I wonder? These doors need some serious oil. Ugh, that was like nails on a chalkboard. Oh, right. Forgot about those super good ears of yours. Look, more feathers. What the heck is that? Is that a Tenmataro statue? But there's something odd about it. Uh, all I know is I don't like it, but I can't explain why. Are you okay, Athena? You look kind of pale. You're not scared, are you? What? Of this thing? Don't make me laugh. Ha ha ha. Really? Ha, ha. Hey, look! What? What is it? Over there on the left, there's a bunch of staffs on that rack. They kind of look like the staff we saw earlier. You mean the one Jinxie said she saw Tenmataro carrying? Yeah, I bet our Tenmataro impersonator really did come in here at some point. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's search the place! What's this? Whatever it is, the packaging is really gaudy. And the fact that there's no dust on it means it hasn't been here very long. Oh, it's hand cream. Let's see what brand it is. J. Sweet LaBelle? LaBelle? What the? But then wouldn't that mean Mr. LaBelle was here? I guess so. But why? Well, whoever was dressed up like Tenmataro... ...must have taken a staff from here in the Forbidden Chamber. And that same person probably dropped this hand cream at that time. In other words, the Tenmataro impersonator we're looking for is none other than... Florent LaBelle! This might be a big break for us in court tomorrow. Now all we have to do is get the truth out of Mare Tenma. Looks like an old scroll. There's something drawn on it. Unless I'm mistaken, it looks like an old guy. Some sort of monk, maybe? A monk? What are you talking about? You know, people that take walks in the mountains as a form of spiritual training. 
Wouldn't that just be a hiker? The guy in this picture doesn't look like he's doing this for fun, Athena. Hmm. Oh look, there's some yellow thing strapped to his back. Maybe it's his hiking backpack, Apollo. Whoa, it's turning into Tenmataro. What's this scroll getting at? Is this how Tenmataro was born? Well, whatever it is, it's definitely creepy. Looks like a gravestone or something. It reads, Here lies Timitaro, age 80. Cause of death, choked on a chicken bone. <gasps> Say it ain't so! Besides, that sounds more like an autopsy report than an epitaph, if you ask me. Wait, you're joking around because you're scared. It's your coping mechanism. I'm not scared! Break out Sentra! Right here, baby! Cut it out, Widget! Denial is strong in this one. Stone Lantern. Like those Japanese garden lamps? Where's the switch? Lamps like these are lit by fire, not electricity. So there is no switch. Oh, here it is. What? It was hidden out of sight. I see Tenmataro's cell has been outfitted with all the amenities a yokai could want. Whoa, that's one big statue. Must be something like 15 feet tall. Look, this Tenmataro has a staff! But the Tenmataro in the scroll didn't have one. Hmm, I wonder why. I feel like this could be significant, but why? Let's take a closer look. First to go around this table here... Uh, Apollo, are you sure that's a good idea? Hey, it looks like there's some sort of compartment in the base of the statue. Don't open it! Who knows what might be in there? It's just a big empty compartment. And from all the dust and cobwebs... I'd say it hasn't been opened in a really long time. That's enough, Apollo. Let's shut it and... Wait! There is something in here! Looks like some sort of figure. But it's so dusty, I can't tell what it's supposed to be. I wonder what it's doing here. Project.